Hey guys, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals. Um, today I'm building something I uh, thought I'd show you. I'm building a, uh, a goat pen. Uh, we're going to be getting some goats. Uh, my wife does uh, goat's milk soap and candles and stuff like that. Um, and we're going to be getting some goats so we can use the goat's milk for that, for, for milk. Um, for cheese, um, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we're going to get a couple goats, two young ones, um, and I got to build a pen for them. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, it's going to be 12 by 12, and I'll be able to tear it down, move it, and then put it back together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the smithy, and I got to weld a couple things together, and um, I'm going to be making a door on it, um, so i got to weld the hinges up. I'm making my own hinges, and uh, I'll take you in and show you how I'm doing that. So, See you in a little bit. Alright guys, so we're in the smithy. Um, should, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. i got my welder running. Um, making my own hinges. How I'm doing that is um, well, these are the brackets here um, that I, I'm, I made up so I'll have there'll be two on either there'll be like fences that get put together for that goat goats for the goats um, and what they'll do is you can see I have grooves cut on both of them and they'll lock together They'll get lagged in in the corners and then they'll lock lock together and hold the fence together. Then I can just take lift it up, take it apart, and move it to another spot. Um, and that's how those will work in the corners. Um, now for my um, the hinge, what I did was I got four four plates here. Um, drilled holes in them and then what I'll do is excuse me I'll take this this is a piece of pipe and just a piece of 3 8 that's 3 8 ID um, 3 8 just standard steel round stock and stick that through and I'll take and put that up against like such and I will take and weld um, weld this piece to to this piece here the the round stock I weld that to this and then I'll take my other piece bring that in uh, the back and I'll weld that to my this part and that'll create my hinge. So that's what I'm doing. So, um, set this up here. Um, hopefully, I can get this, move some stuff around here. And uh, move this around. And throw my shield on. And then what I'll do is I'll just take and line that up, take a vice grips. I have my ground um, already fastened to this table, this table of steel, it's a steel plate, so I already have that fastened. So I'm going to move this away just a touch. I have to make a pretty good jump um, with my arc across there, so I'll have to do some work on that. But, so, here we go. Now, what I did was I jumped 
from this corner to this corner. I jumped. Um, the reason I done that was when you're welding, if you weld this side and this side alone, you'd weld that solid. Um, what would happen is this side over here would twist up on you and it, it'd pull. Well, then you'd have to pull it back down. But if you tack this side and then tack this side, then you could go back over here and weld this and weld that back up. Um, hopefully, you guys can see that all right. Um, but here we go. Okay. Not the prettiest welds I've ever done, but go hold. Um, now what I'm going to do is take, turn this around, run this here, line that up. Such. And then I'll weld that their piece onto the, the round stock onto the plate. Or the, I'm sorry, the pipe onto the plate. Okay, should be, should be good to go. Let's uh, see what we got, huh? See if we got something that works or not. Um, I might have welded onto that pipe, it burnt through. Uh -oh. Yeah, it burnt through on that one piece. Let me cool this down. Take it, hit it on the. There we go. I just all I did is I hit it on my anvil. Um, see now you can. It's gonna go kind of hard, just a little bit, but that's just it'll it'll loosen up over time, you know. Um, and I'd I'd rather have it a little tighter, you know. There you can see it. Um, working like a regular regular hinge so you know I don't know what a regular hinge like that would cost exactly but you know I just saved myself probably for a set of these ten bucks something like that I don't know so but I'm gonna weld up my other one and uh, and I'll get back outside and I'll show you what I'm doing out there so alright we'll see you in a bit all right, guys. <laughs> so we're back. There's my little buddy on guard duty, um, <laughs> laying on my boards. Um, anyways, these boards I don't have them all squared off on the one side. I mean, they cut the length as far as square that way, but uh, you know, some of the bottoms are straight and some of the tops aren't cut. So, but I'm not too concerned about it. It's just a goat pen, um, but. Uh, got to hold some goats so what I'm gonna do is move this over here a little bit what I'm gonna do is uh, grab the boards here and I'm gonna take a nail on my edge. Um, hopefully you guys
guys can see this. Make sure I can move that camera for you. Down here. And on this end, I'm just going to nail. Um, I wish I had some shorter nails, some ring shanks, but I don't. Um, Taking run square up my edge. go out the other side I'm not concerned about it. I'll just bend them bend them over which I'm sure they, they probably did yeah they went out the other side so what I'll do is I'll just flip it and uh, bend them down It'll actually help hold it in place um, now, what I'm going to do is, is I'll take and bring my other one down. I'm just basically just making a fence. Um, now with goats, they're buggers. They, uh, they'll, um, they'll try and get out on you. You know, they're, they're escape artists. They're, they're good they can get out of small little tiny places so I'm not leaving much of a gap um, especially on these bottom ones just enough you know they can see out and see what's going on and, and stuff like that but uh, I'm not leaving much of a, a gap in between for them um, Like I said, they are good at getting out. Probably going a little overkill with the uh, nails, but <coughs> pardon me. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm just going to continue this all the way up to the top. This is four foot. This here piece is four foot high. It's going to continue it right up. I probably don't have enough uh, long boards. Probably going to have to cut some more. But uh, that is what it is. So, but I'm going to I'm going to continue up nailing up through there, and I'll come over here to the other side, nail the same. And uh, once I have one done, I'll uh, get back to you and show you how she looks. So, all right, we'll see you in a bit. Let them fly, guys. Let them fly. All right. Anyways, um, I thought I'd show you what we got so far. These are our panels. Um, I nailed them all together. I figured I'd save you guys the bore of it. Um, just nailed, you know, nailed a uh, two by fours on the ends, as you can see there, and a one by in the middle. And I just nailed all the boards fast. Just made like panels. Um, what I got here is I took the saw and sawed out um, my door where my door will go. And nailed um, one bys down along each side. And I kept them I kept them in a little bit from the edge. That way the door has something to go against. Um, now I got these hinges here that we made, um, they'll get lagged on there, and that's how, uh, how the door will open and close. Um, I'll take and down, down here at the bottom, I'll make a, uh, like a turn type thing, maybe even two of them. Uh, you just take a block of wood and turn it on either side. Probably do two of them because those stinking goats seem to be able to get out of anywhere. <laughs> but uh, um, I'll show you here what I did as far as 
like the um, sides. You can see the lip here from this one by board and come right down and it's shut in against it. Um, I need to do take a uh, 2x4 yet and nail it across the top and that'll give me something solid to um, lag, lag into um, when I'm done. So um, I guess uh, what I'm going to do probably is take and um, uh, I'm going to put the door on and do all that and then I'm going to take and uh, put my brackets on all but like say one one corner and I'll show you how I'm doing that that way I'm not I'm saving you the bore of the whole long process so all right guys well we'll uh, see you in a bit then all right guys so I'm putting my brackets on um, this is the last corner um, that I'm putting my brackets on uh, to be plain and honest with you, <laughs> I screwed up on it. Um, I, I originally intended them to be on the outsides, uh, like this one would fit in and it would be flush and they'd lock in like that. But uh, I cut the one, the one bracket too short on all of them. I made them all the same size and I should have made the one longer so that when this came in to the edge here this one could stick out, had to stick out further another you know four inches further to lock down in there. Um, so I had to come up with some other way to uh, to make it work instead of making all new hinges and or brackets and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, just gotta improvise, adapt, and overcome. So, alright, so that's the last one of those. What happens is this comes in, and then this will come up like that, and drop down into place like that, like such. And that locks them, I mean that's pretty, that's pretty good and solid. I mean the middle bubbles a little, but these corners are, aren't going anywhere. Um, you know, you get on some different soil and stuff like that that's kind of lumpy and that. You might have to wire this down so it don't pop up or something, but uh, the goats aren't gonna get out of here. Um, Jonathan, you want to bring that yeah. camera around over here? I'll show them the door. Um, I have to uh, do um, two things to this door yet. Um, you can see it uh, comes up. Those are those hinges we made. Um, I got to put a, a lock, some kind of a locking something on both sides um, I might even opt to make uh, something out of metal um, some kind of locking metal thing I can put a latch on or something um, but uh, so I mean pretty much this scope pens done um, I got a uh, I gotta build some kind of little like lean-to shelter type thing yet for in here for them. Uh, that way if it rains and stuff they can get out of the rain. Um, not like they have to but I'll probably do that. So well guys I think this is a pretty much a wrap on on this goat pen um, that we can break down um, and move it around place to place. I wanted to be able to move it around um, you know that that they eat up different par uh, parcels of brush and stuff like that. Kind of save me some work. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. I don't think I 
really want to say anything else, but um, hope everyone's doing well out there and everybody's getting along good. Um, and uh, I guess uh, with that being said, guys, take care, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, have a good one, fellas.